Over the course of this week, we've been exploring the beauty that is the Seychelles Islands. And we've been taking a look at the culture, the heritage, the Creole Festival. We've also taken a look at some top travel tips uh, brought to you by our very own Brett. And he's been having so much fun. But this morning, he explores the natural beauty of this tropical island paradise. When I think of what paradise may look like, I immediately envision the Seychelles Islands. It just doesn't look real, but it is paradise. The 115 islands which make up the Seychelles have remained relatively untouched, which creates an environment likened to heaven on earth. We are the best in a sun, sea and sand holiday. We know that because we've got white sandy beaches that are clean and clear turquoise blue sea that are perfectly clear because we have no factories. And we have sun year round. 365 days you will get sun, which gives us a title of the land of perpetual summer. But this is not all that we sell. We sell the culture of Seychelles. It is our culture that we put as the base of what we are today. We keep attracting people because the discerning traveler of today wants more than just sun, sea and sand. They want to really meet the islanders. They want to have a taste of what we are. So it is food, it is music, it is the dancing. And this is an all-inclusive aspect of Seychelles because of the diversity of what we are as a people. From land to sea, Seychelles overflows with natural beauty. And in fact, a nature reserve on one of the islands was once believed to be the original Garden of Eden. Seychelles is a living museum of natural history with some of the world's largest species of fauna and flora. With up to 50% of its limited land mass set aside for nature reserves, Seychelles prides itself on its conservation. Nowhere else on earth you'll find endemic specimens like the jellyfish tree, birds like the Seychelles paradise flycatcher or Seychelles warbler, and of course, the coco de mer. Look what I found. The coco de mer, the largest seed in the world, which can only be found on the Seychelles Islands. It grows on these trees hanging from above. It's pretty cool. Seychelles is also home to two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, which will help ensure the archipelago's natural beauty is preserved for future generations. One of the last frontiers on Earth, which offers adventure and pristine beaches that are still untouched or influenced by man. It's just incredible. <laughs> 